in our attempt to do another parody song, we thought we would invite... Someone who's written... Someone who's done it before. And arguably... Equal levels. Pretty successful. Oh, I was going to say equal level with us. Well, what do you think? Weird Al Yankovic. That... There's there's no accounting for taste. So yes, certainly, uh, on, on in a certain universe, we will be on the same level. Absolutely. So we thought we would, uh, you know, take advantage of knowing you a little bit and 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 get you to help us write some song parodies. The first one, yeah, Tears for Fears. Everybody wants to rule the world. And um, okay, guacamole and some chips, tasty cheese, and also salsa. Everybody. Everybody wants nachos for lunch. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I, so it doesn't. I, uh, it doesn't I, rhyme. I, the rhyme. You're very clever with rhyme you, and and the way that you take you know the similar rhyming patterns like with uh, the episode one song has the same rhyme structure. We chose not to do that. Yeah. Rather than yeah, that that was a. That's a bold choice, you know. It's usually not enough just to have the same number of syllables. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> usually try to like match meter and have it rhyme mm. in certain places and and be clever in yeah. some way. Yeah. But I, I think it's a bold choice to do none of that. So it's by Hall and Oates. It, the origin, the, the, we would do something along the lines of, "Oh, here she comes! Watch out, or she'll eat your strip sub." Oh, here she, she comes. comes. She's, She's a, a red, red rooster, rooster eater. eater. If it were me, and it's obviously not, but mm. if it were me, I would probably change it to something that sounds more like man eater. I'd probably do something like, oh, here she comes. Boy, she likes that processed meat. Oh, here she comes. She's a spam eater. See, something like that. Uh, oh, fuck, that's good. Fuck that's hell, really man. fucking good. Did you, have you done that? Is that something you've already done? Or that wasn't just in the top of your head, was it? Because we did. Our- it was. It, it's in my dreams every night. Oh yeah. my god. Because we did ours. We did ours. Ours took about a week to put together. So if you just did that off the top of your head, that that's um. That's uh, Oh my god. Fucking hell. This is a song by The Clash. Oh, uh, and there's context. We gotta give context. There's context. cultural context. Cultural context here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, but the songs by The Clash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the song is Rock the Casbah. So, so you're aware of the show MasterChef. In America, you've got MasterChef? Master yes, Chef. yes. Yeah. So the Australian vers- version of MasterChef was a cultural phenomenon. Especially season one. It, season it, one it just blew up. Are you aware, uh, Al, of what a crock and bush cake is? I have no crock and bush, you right, said? Let's take a step back. Do you know what a, <laughs> okay, do you know do what a profiterole is? <laughs> I've heard of profiteroles. I don't know if I've ever had one. Is that like a dessert? Uh, a, a profiterole is sort of like a little ball of uh, of, of dough. Uh, shoe pastry. Shoe pastry. It's hollowed out and it's filled with a, a, a creme or a custard. I want a pallet of profiteroles. <laughs> Depending on how you arrange that pallet of profiteroles, you are essentially making a crock and bush cake. It is a type of cake, arguably. arguably. But it is actually never ever been referred to as a crock and bush cake it just is a crock, crock and, and bush. bush right it's got that real master chef thing it's tall it's long and it's tall theatrical so theatrical. it can collapse you know and producers love a collapsing thing on master chef oh are you up to speed with us i think so yes great so crock and bush crock I'm, and- I'm, I'm, i got it rock, <laughs> rock the casbah okay crock and bush cake so we'd go <laughs> Um, Matt Preston doesn't lie. Oh, well, okay, right, sorry, so, sorry. Right, so Matt Preston explain. was one of the judges on MasterChef uh, for for the for the long running. Recently, it switched over the judges, so they rebooted the show, and, and Matt Preston's no longer part of it. Mas- Matt Preston has become a household name because Matt Preston was one of the. Uh, would you say he was the intimidating judge? He yeah. was meant to be, but then he had a warmth and a. <laughs> Uh, he was kind of an Oscar Wilde I think we're going type. into too much detail. Wore a cravat. <laughs> Is it too- um, <laughs> yeah, this might be a little too much detail. And, and Matt but, uh, Preston uh, famously doesn't really rate the crock and bush. Well, I don't even know. I never I, I can't remember exactly I can't remember. But for, this, for the purposes but of I the think song. that's true. Yeah. Anyway, it would go, Matt, Matt Preston doesn't like them. them. Boom, ba da Crock and bush cake. Crock and bush cake. They're really hard to make. 
crock and bush cake. Well, here's where I'm a little confused. I, by your own admission, you said that nobody really calls them crock and bush cakes. Mm. So, yeah, so yeah, why, but, why are you? <laughs> well, because because there was an extra syllable there that we needed to fill, Al. Uh, if you, uh, okay, all right, crock and bush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crock and bush cake. Rock the Casbah. <laughs> Fuck. It was because croc sounds like rock. I got, I got that part. But he solved it. That was the one thing that actually he worked. He solved it in fucking two seconds.